Okay, so we're live. Hi everyone, Marjorie Barracks here. I am baking. So tonight I'm gonna to be baking my Christmas cake. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, we just need two cups of brown sugar. So I'm gonna add that into my mixer. And then I need two cups of butter, one pound of butter. Hope some people will come and look at me doing this. Hope you will be inspired. You see how easy this is. So for um I got this going here. So I'm gonna put the put this the, um put it on in the meantime. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. Noisy. Okay. So while this is going on, let's just scrape this down. This butter sitting at the top here. So this is my regular Christmas cake and it is not fruit cake it's fruit cake but it is not as traditional as some I don't put a lot of rum in mine um, and um, yeah but well, most of most of it is the same but you know little difference here little difference there so I have in here four cups of flour. So while this is going on, let that go. Four cups of flour. So to that, I'm going to put four teaspoons of baking powder. This one, two. Doesn't have to be exact. Food cake is not that big of a deal. We put four teaspoons. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I don't, maybe put a half a teaspoon, if that, right? The salt. The reason why I'm wearing this is because my husband wants to post this on his channel. And we're going to put four teaspoons of cinnamon. One. We usually have it measured already, but you know. And to that, I'm gonna put this is nutmeg. It doesn't have to be an exact science. You don't want to put too much, right? So, 14 spoons. Give or take. And that's my dry ingredients. So what I usually do, I use a whisk and I just whisk it all up here. Just whisk her up. See? Mm. It's kind of brown with the cinnamon. So. And cinnamon is so lovely, right? So we just whisk it. So it mixes together. I, I have one of these things that I used last night, but it's too slow. Then I still have to mix it up again, so. Because it doesn't mix the, uh, the ingredients together. So I find the whisk do a much better job. When you sift it in here, it still stays, you know, like you see the cinnamon and the nutmeg over here, right? But um, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of salt your four cups of flour. 
and that is sitting here and so here we go so we want to stop this for a little bit and scrape the sides down right scrape it make sure it's um, blending together properly I use two spatula because if I use not one spatula to scrape the other spatula off. Alright, and to you know, like this this little one here, it gets right in here. I forgot to take out the lumps of sugar. I know it's like to ten o'clock, but hopefully somebody will see this. I probably won't go for the whole the whole um session of baking, right? But get another go around. And once this is blended nicely, then I'm gonna put some eggs in here. So I have a dozen eggs, you see. Let's see that. my eggs in here. Trust me, it's a dozen. It's twelve. And oh, have my pans all ready. They're all lined for parchment. And I found these at Dollarama. They're nine inch. But um, our eight inch pans are just cut a little bit off. But they're perfect. You don't have to make a whole thing dry and cut it out. No, these are Maybe a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty for I don't know how many, but I used some last night. I'm using some now. Just gonna give this another little scrape. Scrape here. No, I'm not used to being on. On a weeknight, but I thought I'd just share my baking with you. Usually I don't because I like to bake in silence, maybe music. Um, but um, I thought I'd share. Even if you come on and see it tomorrow, that's fine. So we're creaming the butter and the sugar. So for this cake, this um, it's a, a, a pound of butter, two cups of sugar, brown sugar preferably, and um, four cups of flour, four teaspoon baking powder, four teaspoons of um, cinnamon, four teaspoons of nutmeg and uh, about a half a teaspoon of salt um, you want to hurry it up right if you keep scraping it down making sure that it's blending properly and um, yeah is messy work. There we go. So we're going to give it another little rub here. And I'm using Manischewitz. Always Manischewitz. I have some red label. And um, so continue the recipe. I'm going to put in the 12 eggs. Little by little, right? So I'll put it on low, turn it up, scrape it down again. This is a constant, right? Constant. It looks messy, it smells amazing. 
and it will taste amazing, right? So, so I'll put it on low. And I'm putting maybe three or four at a time eggs. Let me show you. Whoa. <laughs> I think like six went in there. But that's okay. It's not going to spoil it. I'm going to put it up a little more. Get them in there. See? So we have six eggs in here and we have six more to go. I was trying to do like three, three, but so I put it low and then I go in slow. Oh. Uh. So, so we have our butter, sugar, and eggs going on here. And pretty soon we're gonna put our liquids in, like our vanilla, our orange extract, and our almond extract. And those is like a tablespoon each. Two tablespoons of the vanilla. And I have another, um, I thought this was open. But we have the butter, sugar, and all that jazz going, right? So. Why, why, why? I heard it. Who knew, right? So to the eggs, I'm going to stop it and scrape it down a little bit because so it gets right in there. We're going to double spatula here. So to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of almond. Don't need more than a tablespoon. And we'll put the lid on this later. Hopefully, I don't spill it. And orange essence, orange extract, I should say. Jesus, one tablespoon of orange extract. It wasn't quite orange extract, and this is almond extract. And then we're gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla, pure vanilla. And I'm going to put some of this baker's baker's thingy. This is this thing is magic. Okay. This is almost eh. So then we're going to put this on Let it mix and come together. And then we're going to go for the main ingredient. Without this ingredient, there is no fruit cake. So, you see that in there? It looks black. Mm -hmm. That's the fruit. And that fruit, let me spoil here. This as this this is from last year and it's it's been soaking in rum and wine and it's grounded. Let's 
is warm. So while that is stirring up, whoop, that won't go in there. Whoops, the daisy. So, so I just made it some more yesterday or the day before, a few days ago. And so I'm just gonna mix this in with the this is the fresh one that I just made. And um, I'm just gonna mix in this one. Sorry about that. <laughs> Try my hands. Okay. So in there, I'm going to put five cups of this deliciousness. Oh my God. This is so awesome in here. It has rum and wine. measuring cup <laughs> measuring cup so I'm gonna put five cups of fruit guys this is my recipe <laughs> my recipe is on this little piece of paper for years so so I'm gonna drop this a little bit I'm gonna just cook this in here that's one cup give or take right that's two cups, three cups, four cups. Oh my, should I? I want to get that in there. All right, so we're going to mix that in slowly and my bowl is um it's already filled up so I'm gonna get my mixing bowl and then I'm gonna pour that in there and finish up so I got my big mixing bowl here Four. So I need to put one more. Okay. One more cup of fruit. I don't want to put too much because it gets so heavy. So. faster because I still have to put in the flour but I usually put that in last and you know what else I forgot to put in there guys coloring so we'll put this out the way here and I'll grab the coloring so I used to use um, Cross and Blackwell, which I used for the first one that I did yesterday, but I'm trying this new one, it's Grace, right? So I'm gonna need, let me see, I'll put, oh, this doesn't look very, put two tablespoons because that's what my recipe calls for. This great this grace brown and look very brown I never used it before so I hope that it will be fine so 
load this up back again and go slow so here we have two cups of sugar two cups of butter um, 12 eggs and we have our vanilla extract we have our almond extract our orange extract in here and we have some browning so that's the you know they call it black cake I don't like it black so I don't put a lot of browning in mine and so we're gonna turn this up a little bit and um, let's see right Then I'm going to pour it into my, um, scrape on the side a little. I don't know. It's a lot in here. But I'm going to give it another mix. Give it one more mix and then I'm going to pour it in here. And I also have some, um, glazed cherries. That's about a half a cup. There is some in the mixed fruit already. But I like to put some, cut up some and put in there make it a little more when you get a you take a bite you get a little chunk of cherry okay i think i over mixed it but it's okay um this is not my first rodeo it's my first rodeo live <laughs> so we're gonna just i like to just shake it just like that to get most of it off And then we just untangle. So this is what I do every year about this time. Making Christmas cake. And um, if you're Jamaican, you know what I mean. Or if you're, if you're West Indian, you know what I mean. And um, I also made what we call sorrel. So here's there's the mix. It looks kind of well, right, but it smells amazing, and it is amazing when it's finished. If you want to see the finished product, you can see it. I put up a reel last night or this morning, I think. This morning, <laughs> um, I put up a reel with the finished product, right? So we're gonna clear this out. Then we're going to go to mixing it up, putting in the flour. <coughs> so here we go. So I got my flour, four cups of flour, four teaspoons baking powder, four teaspoons of cinnamon, four teaspoons of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of salt. All right. So put in a little about half of the flour. It looks like a little bit of flour to all this fruit and whatnot, but it's gonna be amazing. Usually I get my hubby to do the mixing, the heavy mixing here, because but Listen, I'm on my own today. Hi, Pastor Denise. Baking up some fruit cake here. can't respond but by speak I can just look and talk because the the um, the iPad is on the other side of this island and I'd have to run around and run come back so here we have all our flour in and I hope because I'm doing it here I don't miss anything but I don't think I miss anything right So if it gets a little lumpy or whatever, I'm going to use this big spoon here and I'm going to um, give it a good 
nice mix right because guys um this kitchen aid is just good for blending the sugar and the butter quickly and um once you get this to this point after you put in the eggs and all of that it gets really um it's a lot so you have to get a bigger bowl the mixer bowl is not big enough so and the reason why I put the the fruit in with the liquid is because I find that the machine helps to, to break it up right because it's, it's very thick so sometimes if you don't mix it properly it end up um so here I'm gonna put my red label I'm just gonna throw that in there yes good old red label from home right and then I'm just gonna mix this this is yes um I'm not sure the color is coming up really nice so I'm probably gonna because this grace is not as thick as the um, cross and blackwell so I think I'm gonna put another tablespoon although I probably don't need it but I think it was the same last night I don't like my cake black guys and I don't like it with a lot of rum and I don't like it with too much fruit although it's called fruit cake I like it light on the fruit everybody else in here like it um, you know the traditional way but they have to like mine right <laughs> they have to eat mine because I won't make it with a lot of fruit right but it, it still has quite a bit of fruit right so a lot of scraping So we're going to give this a little mix. This is some hard work guys. Hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. This cake making thing man. I'll probably do this again once more. If I need to. And where are my cherries so almost forgot these green and red cherries all cut up so you just put that in here and when you cut it just get a nice little bite of cherry as I like it anyway <laughs> I like it. Maybe I'll put a little double of this um, Grace Browning. About a half a tablespoon. And um, hope it don't come out too dark. This could just go to the family. <laughs> the ones that don't live here. Hope they don't see this video. Oh my god, guys, this is hard. I need a proper wooden spoon. This is a this is not a wooden spoon, it's a it's a metal spoon, and it's not very good for my hand. It's not it's it's kind of rough on my hand here. This is looking really good. Ah, there you go. Yes. So I'm gonna preheat the oven. By the time I fill them, the oven will be preheated. By the time I fill the cans and whatnot, right? I used to. There was a time when I stopped putting 
a lot of wine or I wouldn't put rum. But um, I realized that all that stuff gets, when it's baked, right, it's, it evaporates. And it doesn't taste strong. When it strong is when you put it on after, right? And what I do is, whoo! <laughs> what I do is, um, when I take this out of the oven, I probably give it, I never used to do that, but I'm doing it now. I, I give it like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I actually put the wine on it right away while it's still hot from the oven. And then I give it about 15 minutes in the pan to let it, it set a little bit because what I was finding was I was taking it out. It was so hot. And then, you know, they would kind of break or almost break or whatever. So I try not to do that anymore. But yeah, so I usually do two big ones and these glass bowls, they do very well in here. Here's a measuring cup. I usually measure it and say, okay, I'm going to do, say, four cups in each, four or five cups, depends. That's three. This is four, and I'm going to scrape it out. And I know some people, and I used to do that too, but I, I don't do it anymore. Some people, um, they just smooth it out here. Some people slam it down on the thing to set it. I don't do that because I don't want my cake to be like heavy. So, our dirty dishes. So that's one. I put four in that one. Let me see. Um, I might put just three in this one because I don't want it too, too. Because this is a deep bowl. So I don't want it too, um, too thick. Right? And um, when I put it in the oven, it goes in at 325 because I'm using um, um, my oven is convection oven, so both. So I'm using the convection oven and um, I put it in at 325 on that for half an hour. And then after half an hour, I drop it another um, 25. So I put it at 300 for one hour. And trust me, it, it, it's, I'm amazed actually by this. I love this, um, this kind of oven. I'm not going to put any more in that one. Maybe put a little more in this. Look like I, I should have done another pan. Right? So we have those. Oh, here's another one. And then we might have enough for a sample. Last night's sample was a little itty bitty thing. My husband said, what is that? <laughs> is that the sample? Yeah, it is the sample. Um, that's what was left. So I have four of them that's going in. I'm going to see how much is left and see. Um, but in a nutshell, guys, this is it. And I will, um, I probably can get a little, um, I probably can get this one here.
so that's my little thing. I'm gonna grab gonna grab this here bowl. Right. Dry it. Dry, dry, dry. And I'm gonna take one of my little circular thingies. I'm telling you, these are a godsend because I usually sit here, mark them out with a pen, then cut them. Who is this? Naomi. Hi, Naomi. So, look, I'm not uh, very creative, okay? So, this is not going to come out into a nice little circle. It's still too big. It's still too big. And some of them, what I do, instead of um, I don't, I butter them a little bit. Where's the butter? Where's the butter? Butter. So just grab a little bit of butter. And you see me, my hands are clean. I just wash them, and I just put some butter. Usually I have, oh Lord, guess what? We're just going to use butter in it. This is my sample, and this is our butter. Okay, guys? It no, it's not rocket science. It's not hard. It's, um, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Nene. And then I just... Put a little flour. I grab some flour and look at that. See that? And I just throw that out. Here you go, look at that. See? All right. And we are going to do that. Oven is still pre-eating. Okay, this looks like I'm going to get a nice sample here. There you go. This is more than a sample. Somebody's going to be happy about that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, if I can reach it, I've got some cherries here. Let me rinse my hand again. So what I'm going to do with that, put a cherry in the middle, put a couple around. Just make it look pretty, that's all. It doesn't do anything else. <laughs> it just looks nice and pretty. Right? So we're gonna put put them. We don't do, I don't put them very deep. Okay. Green and another red. Ah okay. And we just do that with all them. Maybe put three greens on this one and one red, and you don't push them all the way down. So you can, when it finished, you can see it on the top. So I'm gonna put two red, two greens, and then I'm gonna put a red in the middle, and we're done. And my my oven is um preheated, so give me a second. Let me drop the temperature. So, if 
I can show you. So that's the cake. Oh, she's falling. I'm going to just drop them in the oven. Put the other two. And the reason why I don't fill them up is because then they just, they, they, um, they come right up to the top, right? So, all right. So they're in the oven and I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes at 325 and then guys, this is tiring. Wow. Um, I was going to, oh, something I want to share with you. One of the great things that I do is I put water, a, a, a thing of water in the bottom of the oven so right now it's steaming right so it cooks with the heat and the steam together and you get a nice moist cake and when I'm ready to, to cut one I'll let you I'll, I'll videotape it and then I'll, I'll post it up here but who's this from? hi there on Instagram Kristen makeup okay <laughs> that's probably one of Mara's friends but um yes happy to see you here I was baking I am baking my famous or traditional um, Christmas cake black cake rum cake fruit cake Jamaican cake Caribbean cake all of the above but it's just one cake right um, and so um, I'm using, you know, I use all my little thing there. So now they're in the oven for, they're going to be there for an hour and a half, right? Um, probably less because the, the smaller ones will finish in no time. They'll finish maybe about 45 minutes for the smallest one. And then it, that it goes. Um, but uh, thank you all for watching. This has been awesome. Thanks for accompanying me on my cake baking, Christmas cake baking journey. <laughs> and um, I'll let you know how it turned out. I'll, I'll just throw up a video um, when I take them out of the oven so you can see the finished product, right? But um, Ruth Han. Oh, see guys, I'm so sorry because the... the 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 yeah <laughs> the tablet is on the other side of this island is it why this island is and um yeah yes <laughs> so thank you for joining me on instagram and on facebook and um i'll let you know how it turned out usually it's okay I'm the worst critic of myself. Um, everybody will eat it and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. And I'm like, no, uh, something is it's not, mm, you know, but uh, last night, um, last night's came out pretty good. And hopefully this one is fine. And then I'll probably do one more bake before. I'm going to try to do a sorrel cake next. And when I do that, I'm going to go live with that. And, um, or if I don't go live, I'll make a video, but lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you all for joining me. It's been a blast. Um, yes, I wish I had more time to talk when I was, when I was, um, preparing the, the batter, but it's very difficult for me to do that because, you know, with my, my, um, memory thing here. Um, I'm afraid I'll skip something so I, I had to stay focused so now I can talk everybody's gone but that's okay um, it was lovely and hope you'll come back again with one of my lives I do a live woman-to-woman -woman conversations every Saturday morning 
Saturday evening now at seven o'clock. Come join and um, bring your friend, tell your friends to join, right? And um, hopefully you'll join me there as well. Thank you so much. Blessings. Have a good night. It is 1030. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye. Bobby's cooking journey. Yeah, Jamaican cooking journey. Whatever. Cooking something. See that? That's my husband's YouTube channel. He's going to put this on there.